What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Knives of the Round Table. My name is Marco and today uh, I decided to, to make this video uh, a little bit earlier. I, I usually have like a schedule of videos that I want to make and I kind of jumped this one at the head of the line because I've had this knife for about two weeks now, probably a little more, and because I got it in the pre-order, but this, if you didn't get in the pre-order, the the drop in the release is probably gonna be either right now or very soon to uh, very soon here in a couple of in a couple of in a couple of distributors you know the blade HQs and uh, REC and, and 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 some of those you have to check with uh, uh, Brian Ado of Sharp by Design oh by the way this is the Sharp by Design uh, Apex. And so I saw and was I managed to get in on the on the pre-order and let me give you a tour of the knife and I'll tell you a little bit about this and what you can expect if you're trying to go look and, and try and get in on, on one of this. So this version has like a tanto compound grind and you know you're probably tired of, of hearing me uh, talk about compound grinds but I, I really love the the transition that you get from you know from from the hollow grind to the flat grind to the swedge all of that this is an m390 blade and it's not a small blade it's it's a it's a it's a reasonably large blade it's a full three and a half inches so this is a full size knife for sure you've got this 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 huge slot here you've got jimping along the top you've got it is uh, I don't know if if this counts as a bolster lock or a frame lock. It's if if it's a bolster lock, it's you know it's it's kind of strange, right? Usually, the bolster only this only this portion of it is exposed and it's covered by a lot by 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 a liner. This feels more like a like an inlay or an, or an overlay. So 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 the lock the locking mechanism is is, is kind of a blend, right? It. It feels like a frame lock. It kind of looks a little bit like a poster lock. It's somewhere in the middle of those. Uh, you've got this this inlay. I'm not sure if it's an, an aluminum inlay. It might be because there's a version that has red anodizing. And I, I'm sure one of you will correct me, but I don't think you can get red anodizing on titanium. You've got a mill pocket clip that looks, uh, that looks uh, very much... Uh, in the same vein as what you get from you know from the from the tempest or the or the typhoon or one of those okay you've got uh, we got a, a lock bar insert over travel stop uh, uh, right here uh, and well and then you have so this is a, a, and it's contoured in in, in 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 this direction so so it, it, it feels very nice so the the apex it comes in a variety of different so there's different colorways there's a black with red uh there's um uh, uh actually you know what i'm gonna check because yeah it should i believe it is a titanium well i'll correct myself if if not but i, I believe it's a it's, it's a titanium frame lock with with an inlay i think this blue portion is an inlay which now with that window when that you can see you know the the I guess the or not the window the hole that you've got here follows the shape of the of the of the scale so that's that's kind of nice but the apex it comes in two different grinds it comes in this grind the compound grind and then kind of a just a, a, a kind of a drop point type um, blade so you can choose one of those two there's a couple of colorways there's this one there's a black and red uh, colorway and then there's the there's the fancy ones, right? Uh, with uh, there's some damn steel versions, there's some Damascus versions. There's uh, so you can go as crazy as as you please. So some of those are going to be available here soon. Uh, again, take a look at follow Brian Ado in, in Instagram, and, and, and he makes a lot of his announcements there. So so take a look. But I know for sure that Rivers Edge Cutlery and I want to say Knife Center and Blade HQ. I believe those three are. Are ones that are gonna get uh, are uh, this knife for sure. So, so uh, Brian Doe, he's a custom knife maker, and if you follow uh, 
and if you follow Metal Complex, which you probably do, if you're looking at my channel, you probably follow his as well. Uh, you know, so he does, he's a custom knife maker, and he does, he did the Arch Nemesis. He's got a, a really fancy Arch Nemesis. So he's a custom knife maker. But again, so so like many others, they, he teams up with Riot to bring the production level type uh, knife uh, to market, and this is one of those. So this is a Riot made knife from uh, from the design of Brian Ado, sharp by design. So let's get started, and let's start with size comparison because this is not a, a small knife. See, it is the full length of a pair of two, or very close to it, if I put them, yeah, it's probably right around there. Obviously, the, you know, we all know that the blade handle ratio of the of the pair of two is pretty bad, so you get much more uh, sharpened blade length on the apex than you do on this one, but lengthwise is, is very similar. Now, thickness-wise, well, this one carries a lot more compact because, you know, the pair, the pair two just, it's much, it's much bigger. But thickness wise, they are very close to the same, but um, because the pair two is taller and because the scales on the pair two are not contoured, and these are aftermarket scales, but the aftermarket scales aren't contoured either. And because you've got this contouring on this one in the hand, this the apex feels like a much smaller knife and we'll talk about that when we talk ergonomics just to uh, finalize this so that is the full size bug out and this is the mini bug out so there is your size comparison uh, i think uh, the feel in the pocket is probably going to be closer to to the pair two uh, but i think this carries just a little bit better than the pair two does so let's get started with ergonomics and the ergonomics uh, on this uh, are are pretty darn good the, the the only the only problem is that the pocket clip is the the edges of the pocket clip are pretty darn sharp and even though it falls in the right spot it fall, feel it falls right in the hollow of your hand okay if you if if you grip it strongly, the this can't the the fact that the pocket clip is out here to the side this point, you can feel this edge and it's the the edges are pretty darn sharp. They 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 haven't rounded the corners on the pocket clip. It's 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 damn near ninety. I'm pretty sure I could, you know, whittle some wood, you know, or you know, create some some shavings. If I if I if I just go like this on on wood, it's pretty darn sharp. It's that it, it's it's a, it's a it's a true ninety degree. So it feels really good in the hand as far as the contouring goes. Contouring in this direction, the swell right here, it's it, it's a good size. I wear large gloves and it's a really nice size. You know, you got a little bit of extra back here, but overall, I think. It's decent ergonomics, but I think if they just rounded the corners and just made it so that it's not a full 90 on this on this middle pocket clip, they, they, they could have had something really, really special. As it is, uh, it's it's a pretty big hot spot because it's sharp and it's pointing up, and I don't think I, I don't think you need it. Uh, so other than that, the ergonomics feel good in the hand, but I do think that if you're gonna be doing some you know, some heavy work or, or, or constant work without gloves, for sure, this point, you're gonna feel it. It's it's a huge hot spot right there. And on on, on what would otherwise be a really, really nicely ergonomic knife. Uh, it's it's kind of a shame. I It's one of those where I'm like, man, do I really, do, do, I, do I take my own Dremel and try to, or, or, or a sanding block and try to stand out the corners of that. Man, I, it, it, it's such a shame. It's such a shame that you've got that, 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 that bad hot spot on it. It's, it, it, it really is. Uh, so ergonomics, it wants to be, it wants to be great, but doesn't quite get there because of this, because of the sharpness of the pocket clip. It's, it's just, it's a, it's a big fly in the ointment it for sure. Now cutting with it, let me show you the thickness of the blade. I'm going to try and compare it here to the pair two. So 
I always try to uh, bring the filler tab, I mean the tab, the flipper tab, in, into the, into the, in between the scales of the pair too, so that you can see, see the thickness of the blade. So right there you can see it's damn near identical uh, uh, blades. And, but as, as often happens, this one carries a flat, right? Without milling from here to here about, call it 40% of the blade. And then you start with a, with a hollow grind. Now the hollow comes to a, to a, to a very thin, to a very thin edge. So shallow cuts, utility cuts, a box opening, a, this, this point in, in, in the tantos, you know, when you're drawing a draw cut or when you're trying to open a box, it's great. It, I find this little point that is it, so, so helpful. It's, it's almost, you almost get a little bit of kind of a warrant cliff type use out of that little corner. Uh, so, so, so I enjoy that quite a bit and I like, well, I like the look of the compound grind, but I also like the fact that I don't have to kind of worry about, about the tip of the knife uh, so much. Let me try and show you. If you look at the tip, so, so the pair two, it has a flat grind from here to here and then a distal taper from here to here, which means that it's thicker here and then it continuously becomes thinner as you, as, as you go down the blade. But hopefully you can tell the difference in thickness of the tip of this one to that one. The pair two has a dainty tip. It has it, it, it goes to a very, very pointy stabby tip, but also a very delicate tip. And generally, if I ever need to use the tip, it's usually not for such a delicate a task. I will never suggest that you pry with it, but we're always kind of doing something with the tip, right? If you're using it, it's really to just kind of open something up, right? Or at least at, at least for my use. I like the fact that you got a little bit, or not a little bit, but much more material because the flat carries to about right here and then it's a flat grind. So you have a fairly robust tip on, on, on compound grinds. And I, besides the aesthetic, the aesthetic, I really, really like the fact that you got more uh, more material up here in the front. Uh, uh, again, for shallow cuts, you know, for draw cuts, uh, for rope cutting, those kinds of th things, this is excellent. It comes down to a reasonably thin edge. It's, it's actually, it, it came pretty sharp uh, out of the box. And now these are a little bit of a pain to, to sharpen uh, because you kind of have to do one sharpening for this and then kind of a separate sharpening for, for, for this area. But you know, I'll, I, I get over that because I really like the, the compound grinds uh, on these. So cutting, I would say, uh, you know, it's it's not as slicey as what you get from pair two, uh, but for, for most EDC tasks, I, I always uh, say the same thing, but it, you have to you have to think about what you use the knife for and for what I use uh, a knife for in my everyday life, most most knives will do the trick, right? But I do have to say, if you're gonna slice through uh, through through harder material, you know, a compound grind, a hollow grind that like this, is not the best if it gets to 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 that thick of a to that thick of a blade. You'd be better served with a with a full flat grind uh, on something like that. But if you're cutting things that come apart fast, right? For example, if you're cutting a rope, right? A rope you don't need to slice all the way through. It just you're always just cutting with, you know, with an eighth of the blade or something, uh, then this is really, really good for those kinds of things. If you're cutting uh, zip ties or if you're cutting, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the belt that you put, the, that they uh, wrap around the box. I don't know what the, those are called. Uh, but those kinds of things, this is excellent for that kind of thing. Uh, fit and finish, uh, really, really good. Uh, well, actually, well, let's, let's talk about fit and finish. Really good. Um, uh, as I have said with, with most Riyadh made knives, uh, there's, you know, there, there's things that you can complain about the design of a knife, uh, but rarely uh, can you uh, complain about the execution of the knife. And that's where, that's where fit and finish comes in. You know, these, uh, these uh, transitions between the two colorways uh, are flawless. Uh, what I really, really like is the transition between the hollow grind here and the, and, and the kind of flat or the satin flat going this way. 
the transition that line right there in so many knives it gets it gets rounded you know because they want to polish it or you know they want to kind of hide imperfections and to have a really sharp transition between these these two surfaces the hollow and this and this and this and this and that you know the the tip and the swedge and the and the hollow and the tip all of these transitions this this corner the fact that they've got it really dead on for example i did a review of the of the slim meaty in magna cut from from Metver knives and that one was also a kind of a compound tanto grind but every transition between this and this the you know between this surface this one this one and this one this one and that one they all had a little bit of rounding these transitions are much sharper much crisper it looks much much better uh, uh the pivots you know there I, I love this they have like a decoration the decorative pivot but then on this side you can use torx and you can take it apart awesome that's great you've got a single screw uh, to to hold on the pocket clip that's really really good the i think i think the execution of the knife is is pretty darn good so i kind of jumped over i usually do action first so let me talk about action so the action you know it's it's a little bit stiff it's a little bit stiff but i found that the riot mate knives for sharp by design have a little bit of a stiffer detent in other words uh the uh it seems like 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 the detent is it, it's a little bit stronger so breaking the detent it takes a little bit more force and uh so i think that the action is snappy but i do fail it sometimes and it's really 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 delicate if you so much as kind of uh, whiff over this lock bar you will not be able to deploy it now most of the time my finger just it naturally lands on this on this blue portion of the knife so it's usually not a, not a problem but i do uh, i do eventually put my finger like right there and then i and, and then a lot of times i end up failing the failing the the deployment uh, i wish that it had a little bit of jimping on the on the flipper tab right here it's flat so i end up falling off of it sometimes and uh, depending on you know if uh, uh, what I've been doing uh, all day and if my hand is sweaty or something uh, but for the most part I would say it's a decent action but not quite at the level of of action that I expect from from some of the other or from the level that I've experienced of other Riyadh main knives the closing is really nice I usually like you know kind of uh, a little bit of a shake but more of a control uh, uh, drop shot action it's not a hugely uh, heavy blade it is larger so i think i think it's it, this is what this will probably break uh, break in uh, very nicely where it will completely drop but the deployment detent is a little bit stiff it's just a little bit stiff for my taste i you know uh, some people like a, a much stronger detent uh i this one this one is just a hair uh, too stiff for for my taste so uh airing of grievances so i uh, one i've already mentioned the the pocket clip it's 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 very good for getting in and out of the pocket the ramp and uh, getting in and getting out is really nice it fits fits in your in, in your pants and it, it, it glides in glides out it has retention it's it's really really nice but the corners of this and this point the fact that everything is sharp it's a it's a full 90 degree edge you know between this edge and the side edge uh, it's it's too sharp it's too sharp it feels like an unfinished pocket clip to be sure uh so you you know uh, and and when you're holding it this point right here it's it's a huge hot spot on what will you know it it would be such a nice ergonomic knife it does fall in the hollow of your hand but damn that it, it that point you can feel it you, you, you see you see how it lands right there you know maybe in some hand it'll it'll completely be in a uh, closer to uh, to this area of the hand and the hollow but in my hand it you can feel it quite a bit and uh, another so i've talked about how stiff the detent is and that's a little bit beyond what i would like you know you do want 
to have a nice detent that you know with with a clean break that deploys with you know with authority right but this is a, a bit over that line now one huge pet peeve that i have and i don't know why why this is the case but hopefully let me see if i can have something to point with here yeah you can see the arc that is described by the compound and the flat grind but the tip of the tanto doesn't match up with that there's a there's a, there's there's a you know there's probably a 16th or an eighth of an inch difference between where this point and this point is located in most other compound grinds and i have many compound grinds this just goes right here and it lands exactly on that point it is symmetric so you have the exact same uh, discrepancy on both sides hopefully let me see are you, can you are you able to tell right there the difference between the point let me see if i can get you closer the difference between the point and the arc described by the two uh, surfaces the two grind lines getting together well that's it's it's not a huge it's not a problem it's it's not a deal killer for sure but it is a pet peeve now uh, because the detent is strong, uh, I have to put a lot of force into spidey flicking it. But you can't spidey flick it because you've got this huge hole. Now, the huge hole, it's kind of a design preference because it's its its meant to to kind of follow the disc curve and follow the... So, so that's a design preference. Once it's deployed, eh, I think it looks way too big. Eh, in my opinion, it's an aesthetic, it's a design uh, choice. Uh, it's a look choice more than more than uh, because I think that most people will will use just a portion of this of this hole, right? If you if you take a look, I mean, we're fine with the spiderical hole, right? And this this slot is I don't know four times longer than a spider hole uh, uh, hole, so uh, you can deploy it. It's uh, and it's. You know, now that I now that I keep doing it, it's probably not as hard as I, as I think. I think, and and spidey flaking it, you're less likely to to put pressure on the lock bar. So, um, it's it, it's it feels a little the detent feels a little bit lighter when you're spidey flaking it. Now that I'm you know, now that I keep doing it, uh, it does feel a little bit stiffer when 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 I do the lock bar for some reason. But, uh, anyways. Uh, uh, I think those are those are my 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 only airing of, of of grievances. This this little discrepancy right here, uh, the, the 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 huge hot spot that you got right there. But something that is interesting, uh, and I, I forgot to mention this, so so, so I'll come back to it. Uh, this knife, if you see, you see the pivot, and then you see no screws at all. You see nothing back here, right? Well, what it is, is that it's held by this screw and then the, the the pocket clip screw actually goes through and catches the backside of the of the front scale. So, so you got to take it apart. You've got these two screw to take it apart and that is it. And that's something that's really, really nice. You just take that one out, that one out, the knife completely comes apart. There's very few knives that you can do that you don't have a backspacer it's it, it's milled into two into two pieces but you can see it's so seamless i mean there's you can barely see that there's a line here in the in in the back where these two uh come together uh, so so that that that's a really nice thing i i forgot to mention it but it's a, it's a really nice design element there's there's few knives that can pull off just two screws you know for in, in in a lot of in a lot of these you've got you know screws and you know screws and backspacers and pivots and all kinds of and all kinds of other stuff you know you in, in, in many you have you know backspacers several of them you know you got look at this this is a mini bucket you got a pivot you got the stop pin you got a backspacer you have another backspacer i mean there's it's 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 screws galore Whereas here, man, it's so clean. Now, the only problem with this is that you better not screw up this screw, right? Because if you 
uh, the advantage of having uh, uh, spacers is that if you if you if you over tighten this screw and you strip you can you you can only you can have a back spacer a replacement sent to you right you only need that piece and a screw if you do the same thing here you need a whole new scale so this one it's it's really nice aesthetic it's a really nice design but you do have to be careful when you uh, not to over tighten your you know whenever you're putting it back together well guys um, this is gonna go uh, I, I, on my channel as sooner than expected just because I wanted to get it out and have it have you be able to take a look and have a review in case you wanted to jump on this one. Uh, 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 take a look, make a decision for yourself, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, then like, subscribe, and until I see you the next one, take care.